Hello, and welcome back to program number C++. Um, today, we're going to look at the concept of arrays. An array is a collection of data, or items, or elements of the same data type stored in a contiguous memory location. So, an array is a data structure. It's a data structure. What are data structures? It basically allow us to organize um, data in a well-structured manner so that it can be accessed easily. So, say that an array is a data structure that allows us to store multiple uh, values in a single, so you yeah, have storing multiple values in a single variable instead of um, declaring separate uh, values for each. So what we mean is that, um, as so you have two values, one and two, and you want to stop, save these um, values. So for the traditional and um, variable uh, conventions, you are going to have two separate locations. Okay, so you are going to have one here. Yeah. Two. Let's say this is A, this is B. This is the name variable A. So, but for arrays, it helps us store these multiple uh, values. So one, two, using one single variable. So key goes this and this out together. So um, in C++, we see that in C++, um, we see that arrays are declared by specifying the data type, followed by the array name and the size of the array. So this is a critical example, a typical example here. We have um, press the data type of the array, followed by the name of the array followed by the size of the array. So this array is taking element, 10 elements. So um, let's look at a quick example with the uh, one we just had. So we have two values here. These values are of the same type integers. Okay, so this is how you declare So you say int. So uh, this is the data type followed by the name of the variable, variable name key followed by the size of the array is going to take what? Two elements. Yes. And it equals two. So this is how we do this. Our early example in C++. This is how we declare the array and we initialize it to the value one and two in C++. So the next says that arrays can be initialized at the time of declaration. So this is initialization. We declared we didn't leave it there. This is declaration. Declaration we could have just done this, then you snub this. But we didn't do that this time. We actually um, assigned values to the array at the time of declaration. Okay, so this is also an example. So type, name of array, size, then we assign values to it. So array elements are accessed using their index starting from zero. Okay. So um, in order to explain this, let's go back to our next slide. Okay. All right. So um, this is this we have here. Uh, an example of an array. So we said that one, uh, an array. Um, contains elements or items or data. So this here are the elements of the array. Okay, so this here already got the elements of the array. And then um, we have, we said that um, the elements of the array can be accessed uh, using um, the index. So the index uh, is from zero to n minus one so and here being the number of uh, the number of uh, or this the size of the arrows here or the number of elements in the array well, the size let's see the size of the array so this is an array of size five one two three four five so five minus one so you have zero to four but that is what you have here zero to four so this first element in this block can be accessed using the index zero. So if you want to access the element one, you have to use the index three. So 
and say plus plus if this array, let's say the name of this array is k. Okay, it's going to be k. Now that access element one, it's going to be k three. So when I say c out k three, k three, you know, I'm going to get a value one here. Okay. So we said that uh, an array uh, is stored in a contiguous memory location. So this is um, this guy what we mean. Let me say um, let me erase on the second. So one zero three. Let's see one zero four. One zero six one zero eight and one one ten key. Okay. So and this array we could see that um memory wise um there's a difference of uh, then two right two 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 so basically when we say contiguous from location what we mean to say is that um the elements in the array uh, uh, on the first block, no, nothing can come be in between. Unlike um, the normal variables where you can have a variable, let's say A of value 5 here. Yeah. And then the location is again, let's say 109. And then we can have another variable B of um, 7. And then this is going to be 114. So in between this, you have um, species that have been filled by, but with um, arrows, uh, the, the, the memory space or the memory locations, um, they are fixed. They are on the same, I wouldn't say they are fixed, but um, they are on the same, they are contiguous, yeah. They are on the same block. All right. So let's go back. Let's clean the slide. Okay, so uh, we're back here. This arrays allow efficient storage and access of data and useful for managing connections of related data. So um, that is the first example that we talked about. Uh, arrays a data structure as such. It allows um, organization of data in such a way that they can be accessed easily and manipulated easily. So uh, one thing here with arrays, it's, it is advised that an array have a fixed size, meaning that the size of the array must be known at the compile time to avoid errors. Um, from C++ update 2011 coming, um, arrays could be declared without a size. So we could have, let me, let me first get rid of this. We could have an array and it's K. K, could have this here. And K, and then we can say, okay, you say one, two. So from C plus, this is this is possible, but um, the thing is, in order to avoid um, a lot of errors uh, later in your code, it is best that you specify the size of your error. Okay. All right, so. Um, Primarily, uh, we could say that um, there are two types of arrays. Um, one being the one-dimensional array, and then the multi-dimensional array. So with a multi-dimensional array, we have um, more than one. So this is an example of a one-dimensional array. Yeah. Okay. So with a multi, this is also an example of a multi-dimensional array. So with this, uh, we can say that this array has two dimensions. Okay, this array is a two-dimensional array. And this here that we have um, is also a two-dimensional array. This is also a two-dimensional array. So, um, in order to declare a dimensional array, uh, let's say I have an array K here. So you have two and two here. So this is this. So you make two. This here becomes um, an array. Play nine three. Again, that is for this. This one also becomes nine. 
Right. So these are all two-dimensional arrays. Um, so the thing about arrays is that um, the more um, or the number of square brackets that we have here is going to um, determine the number of dimensions. So the moment this uh, I add one square, let me let me clear this first. So the moment I get k equals okay. So this here is a one-dimensional array. The moment I add this, let's say. It becomes a two-dimensional array. The moment I add this, it becomes a three-dimensional array. The moment I add this, it becomes a four-dimensional. So the more dimensions, the more complex your code becomes. So let's get to the practical aspect of arrays. Thank you.